We need to bring the warriors together as one. Hulk Hogan. Bah. I am going to wait until Mars aligns, and then Jupiter will become my strength as I beat you with a slam. And you will know nothing because you are no power compared to me. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Hello and welcome to the My Podcast Zone. My god, Don, we can't be live in the Impact Zone. Because as you know, we would have already told you everything that's going to happen on the show. And you turn off because tonight we would have had live a Gravy Pool Blender match. We're not having a Gravy Pool Blender match? Oh no, I can't believe it. That would be the greatest thing ever in the history of this sport. And you know, Don, they're going to talk about TNA. I wonder if they're going to touch on the fact that we've watered down and misuse all of our WWE talent, pushing them over our own talent, then they generally just become another guy. Any people who may come to our product to actually watch what we're doing are turned off by the random, stupid backstage segments back with JB in the back. Oh, I know, but you know, it's TNA, and in TNA, we don't have to make sense. In TNA, we can have Mick Foley doing nothing. In TNA, we can have Sting winning every bound for glory, because it's TNA, it's wrestling, where our women's division is so great, except we've got a, nun- a champion that doesn't even the best women we've got. My God. And don't forget about electrifying cages and random shoot interviews where the heels are being the faces and the faces are being the heels. I don't know where I am sometimes on this show. I'm just having to have a job, and here I'm going to shout it out of them all. Oh, God. Hello, I'm Vince McMahon, and welcome to... All Time Wrestling, where we've got every single wrestling game under review, and we're going to call a match here. I'm Vince McMahon, and I'm joined by Mike Adamley. Hello, I'm the Adamley. Yes, you're fired. <laughs> hey, after the show. Hey, anyway, so, we're going into this match. We've got The Undertaker versus Bam Bam Bigelow. The Bam Bam Bigelow is here. Oh, I'm a big fan. And yes, and he is accompanied to the ring. Hi, Kevin Kelly. What's he doing out here? I don't know. The Kelly Kelly is always out here with him. I don't know why. It must be part of the story. Oh, when the match is on the way, the Undertaker with a move right there. Oh my god, it's a pile drive. Oh. No, I'm sorry, a suplex. The, the suplex. The suplex of doom. And there we see him setting up. What's he setting up for? Oh, he's setting up for the tombstone. The tombstone. No, no, no. That, oh. that's, that's a choke slam. <laughs> The choke slam. The choke slam, Adamly. The choke slam. Right, so, and here we go with the match. And the Bam Bam Bigelow now making a comeback. Oh, he's on the offensive. Look at those punches of death. Well, you know what? I think this is about time that we talked about Fruity Fruity Skittles, don't you, Mike? Yeah, Fruity Fruity Skittles. Fruity Fruity Skittles, right. So this is brought to you by Fruity Fruity Skittles, who sponsor us. Go and buy Skittles. Or you're fired! Anyway, so back to the match. Batman Bigelow, what's he doing now, Adamly? He seems to be doing the pose. Oh, uh, that's called the taunt. The taunt? The taunt. The taunt. The taunt. Oh, no wonder he's fired. You know, in wrestling, that's what you're doing. It's a wrestling match. Right? <laughs> oh, right, okay. yeah. My 25, 25 years of broadcast experience isn't really cut out at the moment. No, because this is entertainment, damn it. Oh. We're not wrestling, we're entertainment, damn it. Oh. We're entertainers. <laughs> anyway, so we're in the ring, and with the match here, and I'm Vince McMahon. I'm Mike Adamley. Yes, and uh, we'll take you to the show here, and remember, this isn't ballet. When you step between those ropes, you better expect to take some punishment. That's right, the McMahon. You are so fired. And we also have a special guest this week, uh, the man who is our topic this week. Shut up, Maybe. Jabroni! Finally, The Rock has come back to Beyond the Mat! 
And the Rock says that today, place, all but, you okay. people, shut up, Jabroni. The Rock is speaking. <laughs> the Rock says that today, all you people out there who are listening to this will get to hear The Rock talk about the greatest WWE superstar of all time, the most electrifying Hulk man Hogan? in sports entertainment history, better than Hogan, Savage, Stone Cold, The Undertaker, and The Ultimate Warrior. And speaking of The Ultimate Warrior. Do you actually think that you impressed The Rock with your nonsense spewing trash hole? We need to bring the Warriors together to fight Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Do you actually think that you impressed The Rock by running down to the ring like a hyperactive 10 year old with ADD and shaking the ropes like you got Parkinson's disease? Well, let The Rock say this. He wipes an elephant's ass with what you think. Now on to these five jabronis who are going to talk about The Rock. The Rock just wants to know this. How do you feel? Well, I actually. It I doesn't feel... matter how you feel because The Rock says this. He doesn't need five other jabronis talking about how great The Rock is. The Rock can do this show all by himself. As a matter of fact, this show is no longer called Beyond the Mat. It's now called Beyond the Rock. And the dark side will now be referred to as the Rock side. Now, if these five popcorn farts could just know their damn role, then shut their damn mouths. All they have to do is listen. Shh, shh, just listen. And they could hear the millions and millions of the Rock's fans all chanting the Rock's name. I said they're chanting the Rock's name. How the hell with them? You can hear them chanting the Rock's name. You know you can. And if the genetic jackass Vince McMahon wants to stop this show, The Rock says just bring it. And he'll hit Vince McMahon with a rock bottom, drop the people's elbow, and then The Rock is gonna take this microphone, shine it up real nice, he'll turn this some bitch sideways, and then he's gonna initiate a mic check to make sure that all the people can hear what's gonna happen next and proceed to stick it straight up his candy ass. And there are only two things that Vince McMahon can do about it. Nothing and like it. If you smell la 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 what the rock is cooking <laughs> Well done. <laughs> yes. <Ooh. coughs> so oh, if you haven't shit. guessed, our topic hey, today is the is rock. BM. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's BM. If you haven't guessed, our topic today is the rock. Um like you had to figure by the fact it'll be written on the episode you clicked on to press play and 